All right, 65 on 6.2. That's fine. This is section 6.2, number 65. It says find the area under this curve between 0 and 3. So y equals x squared, or f of x equals x squared is, of course, a parabola. One, it's at one, at two, and at three, it's at nine. They want that area between zero and three. Okay, so the area between zero and three of x squared dx is simply one third x to the third because we take two add one to it we get three and we divide by that and take it to that power and we have to find it between zero and three so we plug three in we get twenty seven thirds minus zero thirds which is nine and that's sixty five that's all it asks for 69. It says find the exact area. So we're going to take a look at this one. So on my calculator, i got to type in, that looks like I've already typed it in, x to the third minus 7x squared plus 10x. And let's take a look at this. Uh, zoom 6. And we can see it has some positive area and then some negative area. It looks something, oop, it actually goes through zero, zero. And it looks like it hits at zero and at, I mean at two and at five and at zero. So if we want to get the exact area for this curve between their x-axis and between zero and five, we're going to get this area and add it to this area. Now this area is going to come out to be a negative area so we need to um, uh, change the sign on this part. So we're going to have to do this in two separate pieces from 0 to 2. So we want the integral from 0 to 2 of uh, x to the third minus 7x squared plus 10x dx which means we're going to go from uh, this would be 4x to the 4th over 4 minus 7 thirds x to the 3rd plus uh, 10, I'll write it, 10 over 2x squared evaluated from 0 to 2. Now if I put 2 in here I get 16 divided by 4 which is 4. If I put 2 in here, I get 8 times 7 is 56 over 3. And if I put, that's 5 times 2 squared is 20. That's putting in the 2. And from that, I've got to subtract putting in 0. And 0 makes all that be 0. And so I get the area of this first piece to be... Let's work it out here on the calculator. Clear. 4 minus 56 divided by 3 plus 20. And it's 5 and 1 third. Exactly. Okay. So this area is 5 and 1 third. Now to find this area, I could do the antiderivative. I get the same thing x to the fourth over four minus seven over three x to the third or seven x to the third over three plus five x squared evaluated from two to five. Okay. Now so I put in 5 first, and I get 5 to the 4th is 625 over 4, um, 
minus 7 times 125, that's 5 to the third, over 3, plus 5 times 125, uh, 5 times 25 is 125. That's putting in the 5, then I got to subtract what I get when I put in 2. Well, I put 2 in before and I got 5 and 1 third. Actually, I got, yeah, po positive 5 and 1 third. Okay. And so I'll take this, subtract that. And I get, let's see, 625 divided by 4 plus, oh, minus 7 times 125 divided by 3 plus 125 minus parenthesis 5 plus 1 divided by 3. And I get negative 15 and 3 quarters. So that's this area. But all together I got this one plus this one. So I have to add by 50, I positive 15 and 3 quarters with 5 and a third, and I get uh, 21. Let's just do that. This answer plus, oop, that answer times negative 1 to make it positive, plus parenthesis 5, oop, I didn't do plus, plus, I said plus, 5 plus the 25 plus. 1 divided by 3. And I get 20 and one, 21 and 1 sixth. Okay. I can see that math. Enter, enter, and it says, oh, 4 twelfths. Well, maybe it's 1 twelfth. Let's see. minus that answer minus uh, let's see 21 is 21 times 12 divided by 12 and then math enter enter is oh it didn't tell me what that fraction is no I think that's 1 12 let's try this 1 divided by 12 yeah, it's one twelfth. So that's the exact twenty one and one twelfth. I should have just done the fractions, I would have probably been okay. Now it says evaluate this. Well the antiderivative is still the same thing. X to the fourth over four minus seven x to the third over three plus 5x squared evaluated from 0 to 5. Ooh, excuse me. So when I put 5 in, I get this mess. 625 over 4 minus 7 times 125 over 3 plus 125. And then I got to subtract from that what I get when I put in 0, which is 0. And that turns out to be... see if I have it in here. There it is. Uh, I just got to get rid of this last part here. And that turns out to be negative 10 and whatever that is. Um, it looks like less than a half and it probably a, a twelfth less than a half. So let's just find out. Uh, what is 1 divided by 12. 
less than a half, so I got to uh, insert 0.5 minus, yes, so it's a twelfth less than a half, which is uh, 5 twelfths, and it's negative. And it's negative because this area is negative. And now, why is it different than this one? Well, this area is 5 plus the 10 is uh, 5 plus the 15 is 21. But if we know that this is 15 and that's 5, we, and that's negative uh, 15, that's a plus 5, we get a, a, a minus 10. So what they're trying to point out is we got a positive negative area. And if we just do this, it's going to think of that as positive and negative, and we get a negative answer. But if we want the total area, we actually get 20 and 1 12th. That's the whole point of 69. Okay, two more problems. 78. Now, some people are confused by this. So to help people out, I said, what was f of 2? So if you if you had to find f of 2, you just plug 2 in for the x. So it would be 4 times 2 to the negative 3. And you can work that out. It turns out to be 1 half. Um, and if I had to find uh, f of x plus 2, I would go 4 times x plus 2 to the negative 3. I replace the x position with whatever it says to put in for the x. Well, this says put x to the minus 1 in the x position. So I'm going to try to find the integral from 1 to 3 of uh, f of x to the negative 1. So that's going to be 4x to the negative 1. So that's in place of the x. And that's to the negative 3 dx. Well, when I got a power to a power, I multiply. And so this is the integral from 1 to 3 of 4x minus 1 times minus 3 is plus 3. And the antiderivative of this, this will go to 4, and divide by 4 gets rid of the 4. And so I'm just going to get uh, x to the 4th evaluated from 1 to 3, which means I put in 3 first. 3 to the 4th is 81. Put in 1, I get 1. And I subtract those, and I get 80. And 79. Now it says, find the antiderivative of the derivative of this. Well, the, the derivative of this would be negative 3 times 12, this to the negative 4. And the antiderivative would take us right back to this. So we're just evaluating 4x to the minus 3 from 1 to 3, which is, and that's really 4 over x to the third from 1 to 3. And that would be. Um, 3 goes in there and gives us 4 27ths. Minus 1 goes in there, minus 4, which is going to turn out to be a negative answer. Uh, 4 27ths less than a 4. So that's going to be negative 3 and 23 27ths. And that's it for 6. Thank you.